The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located near the middle of your back. They work as a filter, removing waste products and excess fluid from the blood, and returning clean blood to the body. The waste products and excess fluid become urine. It travels through two narrow tubes, called the ureters, to the bladder, and leaves the body through the urethra. If there is an imbalance in the waste chemicals in the urine, crystals can form, which may build up into stone-like lumps. These are known as kidney stones. This can happen for a number of reasons, including not drinking enough water, a diet high in protein, or health conditions such as kidney disease. If kidney stones are small, they usually leave the body when you pass urine. However, larger stones can get stuck in the kidneys or pass down the ureter, causing irritation and blocking the flow of urine. This often results in an infection and intense pain that is felt in your back. Kidney stones can sometimes be treated with fluids and painkillers. However, if infection develops or the urine flow is obstructed, further treatment may be needed. Your doctor will advise the treatment best suited to you. In shockwave therapy, shockwaves of energy are used from outside of the body to break up the stones into small pieces that can be passed out of your body in urine. Lithotripsy, or extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, is a procedure used to treat kidney stones. It takes place while you lie on a special lithotripsy couch. When the stones have been located, the lithotriptor can be trained on them. Because it can be uncomfortable when the kidney stones break up, you'll be given painkillers before the procedure is started. The lithotriptor directs sound waves towards your kidney stones. This can be quite loud. The sound waves break up the kidney stones. The procedure usually lasts about 45 minutes to one hour. The broken up kidney stones are passed in your urine over the next few days. In percutaneous nephrolithotomy, a small cut is made in your back and a thin telescopic tube is passed into your kidney. The stone is then either removed or broken into smaller pieces using a laser. A ureteroscopy is used if a kidney stone is stuck in your ureter. A thin telescopic tube is passed through your urethra and bladder and into the ureter. The stone is then either removed or broken into pieces with a laser. If none of these methods are suitable, the stone may need to be removed using traditional surgery. If you've had a kidney stone, there is a risk of getting another one at a later stage. Your doctor will be able to advise you on medicines and changes to your diet that can help prevent further stones.